In this video, we are going to see how to set up Pinterest page visit tag on our website. In this video, I am going to resume all the things that we have done in the previous video of this playlist. I have shown on this video of this playlist how to claim your website on your Pinterest account and how to set up Pinterest initiate tag on your website. Now we are going to see how to set up Pinterest page visit tag. So let's see how to do that. This is my website. I'm going to set up Pinterest page visit tag on this website. I want to grab your attention on this Pinterest tag helper extension. If you click here, you should see there is just a single event, initialized event. We will see how to set up page view event and that will appear here, the page view event. So I'm going to do that with Google Tag Manager and this is my Pinterest business manager. So let's go to your Pinterest ad account, then go to the top menu and click on the ads. And from here, go to conversions. You can see here there is no event without initiate tag. When we will set up our page visit tag, we will also find page view tag on this interface. Now I should go to my Google Tag Manager and I will take a new tag. I can click on this add a new tag or I can go to tags. Then click on new and click on tag configuration big button and search from here Pinterest tag. Here we go, Pinterest tag template. Click on it. Now enter here Pinterest tag ID. In the previous video, I have showed how to create a variable from Pinterest tag. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and select from here Pinterest tag ID. Since we are going to set up Pinterest page visit tag, now we should create some variables. And those variables are if we select here my page visit tag, event to fire, click on it and set up your page visit tag then you will see it will ask to enter product id and product category so now we should create three variables so i'm going to duplicate this tab to create those variables we should go to preview mode so click on preview then enter your website url and click on connect now we will visit a product page on this website so i'm going to visit this product now go to tag assistant tab and click on continue from the left hand menu we'll find out a view item event is fired so click on view item and go to your data layer from the data layer we will get our users html and we should also get the product id and product category so let's go back to google tag manager and click on variables go to user defined variables and click on new now click on variable configuration and choose from here data layer variable and data layer variable name will be visitor email hash then copy it and paste here i'm going to name it data layer variable for visitor email hashed okay then click save now we should create another variable for product id so click on new and click on variable configuration select from here data layer variable and data, data layer variable name will be copy from here e-commerce then copy items and then copy item id item id means our product id so go back to your google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then click dot then paste items then dot then write zero then dot again and then paste here item id i'm going to entitle it data layer variable for product id then click save now we will create another variable for product category then click on new and click on variable configuration take here data layer variable and data layer variable name will be e-commerce then items then item category go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce then dot then items then dot then zero then dot then item category I'm going to entitle it data layer product category then click save okay our variables are ready then go to the first Google Tag Manager tab now insert here that variable for email click on plus icon and select from here data layer variable visitor email hashed then event to fire select here page visit then product ID will be that variable that we have created a while ago DLB product ID 
and product category variable will be dlb product category that we have created a moment ago now go to your triggering click on triggering i want this tag to be fired when somebody come to my website and visit a product on my website so i'm going to select here view item trigger you can also create this by clicking on this plus icon and click on this trigger configuration and select from here custom event and event name will be view item as you see here when somebody visit a product page an event view item is fired so you can copy it and paste here view item you can name it view item trigger then you should click here save I have created a trigger for view item page so I'm going to use here the trigger discard these changes and I'm going to select here view item trigger and I'm going to name this Pinterest page visit tag okay then click save our tag is ready now we have to check either is it working properly or not now we should go to preview so click on preview and you should enter here your website URL and click on connect okay tag assistant connected let's visit a product page I'm going to visit this product now go back to tag assistant tab click on continue now you can see here a Pinterest page visit tag is fired so Google tag manager says our tag is working properly but it's not enough now if we go to our Pinterest tag account we can also see the tag on our event manager so refresh this page and scroll a bit you can see here one tag is initiative tag and the second is page visit tag so viewers our page visit tag is receiving by Pinterest event manager uh, with the Google tag manager now we should publish our tag on Google tag manager otherwise the tag will not work in the real case so let's go back to Google tag manager and submit here I'm going to name it Pinterest page visit tag so click on publish okay our tag is published if you have any question or suggestion about this video don't hesitate to drop down in the comment box I will really appreciate your suggestion and questions if you need any service for Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Google Tag Manager, GA4, Facebook Pixel, Conversion API, Server Side Tracking, etc., then I am working on Fiverr, also working on Upwork. You can place an order for my services on this marketplace, or you can directly contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address. So that's it today. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.